In this example, uh, we want to determine for what values of h okay, is the vector b in this plane spanned by the vectors a1 and a2. Okay? And so we can see that a1 and a2 are given, and so is the vector b. So there's a key word, okay? This is, right, so the word span, okay? So if we say that a vector is in, it belong, if we say that a vector belongs to the span of a set of vectors, it means that that vector can be represented as a linear combination of those vectors in that span, okay? So in other words, okay, this is what we need to do find out. Can B, all right, can B be written as a linear combination of A1 and A2? Uh, that is, we have X1, or, okay, times A1 plus X2 times A2 equals to B. Okay. So this is, right, this is we need to we need to figure this out. Um, if that's the case, that means B uh, is in this. It's in the plane spanned by a1 and a2. If not, then it's not that vector B is not in the plane that's being spanned by a1 and a2. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and form our, formulate our, our our matrix system. Okay. Okay. So we have uh, one. 4, negative 2, and then we have negative 2, minus 3, 7, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and augment the vector B, so we have 4, 1, and H. All right, so now we can go ahead and start with the row operations, okay. Okay, so we're going to take we're going to have, since we have four in the second row, first column, then we can take, uh, we want to make that zero, so we'll take minus four of row one, add it to row two, and store that result in row two. Okay. okay so we have minus four times row one, add it to row two, store that result in row two. Okay. Okay, so that's going to give us one, negative two, four. Um, we get zero here. And then so we have negative four times negative two. That's going to give us eight. And eight minus three is five. Okay. And then we have negative four times four, which is negative 16. Negative 16 plus one will give us negative 15. Okay. And then we have the last, uh, the last row. Okay, so we have minus two in the third row, first column, so we need to make that zero. So we do that by multiplying the first row by two and adding it to the third row and storing that result in the third row. Okay, so we're gonna have two times row one, add it to row three, and store that result in row three. So we have one, negative two, four, okay. And then we'll have zero, five, negative 15. Okay, and make some more room here. Okay. All right, so we have minus four times row one. So we have minus four. Uh, let's see, I'm sorry, two times, I'm sorry, two times row one, add it to row three, so that's going to give us zero here. And then two times negative two, that's going to give us negative four. Okay, negative four plus seven will give us three. And then we have two times four is eight. And then plus h is going to give us eight plus h here. Okay. All right, so um, in the second row, we can see that both of these values are divisible by five, so I can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and divide everything by five in, in the second row. Okay, so we have uh, one fifth times row two and store that result in row two. 
Okay, so that's one of those row operations. So we have one, negative two, four. This is going to be zero, one, minus three, and then zero, three, and eight plus h. Okay. So now we have we can use the one in the second row, second column as a pivot. Okay. All right. So we're going to use that, and we're going to take minus three. So we're going to take minus three of row two. Okay, and add it to row three. Okay. okay so minus three times row two. Add it to row three. Store the result in row three. We have one, negative two, four. Zero, one, negative three. Okay, so we're gonna get zero here, zero here. And then we have minus three times negative three, that's nine. Okay, and so we have nine plus eight, that's gonna give us 17 and then plus h. Okay, so now looking at this, okay, looking at, looking at this part of our matrix, okay, of our augmented matrix, okay, we can see that, um, that H, okay, in order for this to have a solution, H has to be negative 17, okay, uh, because this part, right, this is, this is the same as zero times x two plus seven, sorry, equals to seventeen plus h. Okay. So the only way, all right. So this is so we're gonna get. So obviously here, no matter what x two is, okay, we're we're gonna get zero equals to seventeen plus h. So for this to make sense, uh, h must be minus. 17 okay and that's okay and that will give us our okay so that value of h will give us our solution okay all right will give us a solution for this uh for the system and therefore okay that's the value of h that needs to uh that we need for this vector b to be to be in the span of a1 and a2 okay all right, so we can make a conclusion here. Okay, so, so H, okay, so H must be negative 17, okay. So therefore, okay, for, so for B to belong in the span, okay, of, a1 and A2, okay, remember vector B was defined as 4, 1, H, okay, so for B to belong to, belong to the span of A1 and A2, okay, H must be equal to negative 17, okay, all right, so that's the only value of H that will give us a solution here, okay. And therefore, B will be a, will B can be is in the span of A1 and A2, which means that B can be expressed as a linear combination of A1 and A2. Okay.